<laughs> I just really can't lie. Freshman year of college was just a rough time for me and I feel this bad for you. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Danielle, and I'm here today to answer your questions. Every couple months, or once a month, or whenever I really think of it, truly, I like to sit down, or today I'm definitely standing up, and do a Q&A. So I go on my Instagram, ding ding, at Danielle Carolyn, follow me, and I use that cute little question feature on Instagram stories, and I ask you guys to ask me questions. Because it's really, really fun, and a lot of you guys have the same comments and questions on my YouTube videos and my Instagram photos, so that's why I kind of like to be like, okay, let's film a video, let's talk about the questions you guys have lately, what's going on with me, what's going on in my life. I think Q&As are a really good way to like tap in and be like, okay, Danielle, like, what's up? I don't know. So, yeah, I'm really excited, so uh, let's go. So the first question I see here is, how are you? I feel like we always ask about so many things, but we never catch up. Oh, girl, we need to catch up. Life is really great right now. You know, life is a sense of ebbs and flows, and some days I'm like, yes, life is good, and then other days I'm like, life sucks. But, like, lately it's been a pretty good streamline couple months of just... I'm happy and I feel good and I'm happy where I am. I'm happy to be at the University of Georgia. I'm so thankful to be able to travel. I'm thankful for the friends that I have in my life. I'm just, I'm really thankful. And I think the cold weather kind of coming in for fall has gotten me in an even better mood just because when the weather is like nice, I'm, I'm nice. I'm nice to people. No, I'm kidding. I hope I'm always nice, but I'm in a really good mood. Everything's good with me. Life is great. I don't really know what else to say about that. Like, usually I like feel like I have a sob story, but today I'm just, everything's okay. I have no reason to complain. How is dating going? <laughs> yeah, it's not going. It's not happening. How are you so good at time management? How do you have that kind of time discipline? So, if you guys didn't know, I actually have a podcast with my best friend, Brooke. It's called Gals on the Go. We just got a new podcast like cover and it looks amazing. I'm obsessed with it. Um, but we did an episode I forgot if we did one on time management or we did one on like productivity, but you guys should definitely check that out. I always have the podcast link down below. For me, when it comes to time management, I think the biggest thing is like you just can't make an excuse. People will say like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do, but like no time. And I'm like, what do you have to do? And they're like, ah, homework assignment and like one other thing. And I'm like, I, I don't feel bad for you. <laughs> like I don't, because the thing is we all have the same amount of hours in the day. You know that big quote, like we all have the same amount of hours in the day as Beyonce, it's true. You can never say that you don't have enough time because you can make time for the things you wanna do. Let's say you have school, but you wanna work on the side hustle, you wanna start a YouTube channel, you have time. Perfect example, I was just at KD for a philanthropy event. We do like a trick or treat with the Girl Scouts at the house, it was so fun, it was so cute. I dressed up like a football player because I literally had nothing else yet. Um, but after that, all my friends were going to Chick-fil-A tonight because they were doing like a unlimited chicken nugget night. And they are like, do you wanna come? And a part of me like really wanted to I was like, oh my gosh, but I knew I had to come home. I wanted to film this video and I have a test tomorrow. So I was like, I need to study. And it was so hard to say no because like, it's hard to justify it. Like I, I felt like I had to say, oh, like I have a test, which I do, but I also needed to come home and film this because you know, it, it's hard to, it's hard to say no sometimes. And like, sometimes people won't understand. My friends are really understanding, but sometimes it's hard to be like, oh, I, I can't do this because I have to work on my side hustle. Like, that's so weird. But at the end of the day, it's really important to be able to say no. And I think that's honestly the biggest thing. Like, I can tell you, get a planner. I can tell you, you know, time block. But the biggest thing is, is first be able to say no to other things so you can work on what you truly are passionate about. What's your favorite shampoo? P.S. I love you. Oh, wait one sec. This is actually the perfect time to talk about this new shampoo and conditioner duo that I just recently got. You guys have probably seen this all over Instagram. That's how I found out about it and I was like, I want it. So as for my hair, I actually just got it done today. I got it highlighted a little bit more um, and I got it cut. I love it. She did a great job. Um, so basically what I do is I use like a regular shampoo and conditioner, but then um, like every other time I shower, I'll use like a purple shampoo to kind of um, keep my hair from getting brassy and kind of golden because I like it to be more of like an icy blonde if that makes sense and that's what the purple shampoo and conditioner helps. I just decided to try out the function of beauty shampoo and conditioner set. It literally says on here function of Danielle. It is the coolest thing. I can't believe I'm just hearing about this now because I'm just like really sad. <laughs> For me, I'm always trying out different shampoos and conditioners because it's so hard to like figure out what I want to do with my hair. For me, it's really hard to find a good shampoo and conditioner that works for literally my hair. And so when I heard of Function of Beauty, I thought this was perfect because basically you go online, you do like a two minute quiz, you say, my hair is damaged, I have colored hair, I want more volume, I want it to be shinier, like whatever your problems are. And they create a custom formulation specifically for your hair and for your needs, which is just, I'm just like surprised 
surprise. I just can't believe I've just never done this before. <laughs> and it's really fun because you get to pick out the scent. I picked out like the high intensity eucalyptus scent because it smells so good. And you get to say what color you want. I decided to just go for white because I just like it. It's really like cute looking in my shower, but they have pink and blue. I thought about getting the blue one and they have like an orange. They have so many different colors. I also really love Function of Beauty products because they are a hundred percent vegan and cruelty free, which you don't always see and sulfate free and sulfate free shampoo is just so much better for your hair. My hairstylist Andy is always telling me this. So Function of Beauty definitely hooked me up. So if you want to get 20% off your first order, just click the link down below. Woo! So I'm really happy you asked that um, Gabriella Sanchez. I hope I said that right because that was, that was great. Do you prefer having your own apartment or having a roommate? Pros and cons. So I've had a roommate and now I'm currently living alone. I absolutely love it. I loved having a roommate as well. But when I did have a roommate, it was like in a dorm room. So, but next year, um, me and my best friend Delaney Free, I have so many friends named Delaney in my life right now. It's really funny. So my freshman year roommate was Delaney Dunn. And then next year, me and Delaney Free, who's in my vlogs a lot, um, we are going to be living together next year. We're going through the whole like apartment search process. We might be living in the same building. I'm in now we might move we're kind of like all over the place, but I'm really excited I love living alone like I really could do it again But like sometimes I get FOMO and all my friends are like hanging out like at the sorority house or whatever Like I'll just go over whatever I want But it's I'm really excited to like have a roommate again where I can just like go out to the living room And we can like watch a movie or whatever, but I don't really get lonely um, I really thrive on alone time so it's like I can kind of do it either way as long as I still get alone time and like for me and Delaney who I'm living with next year I just we're both the same way in that aspect so it's just gonna be perfect favorite songs at the moment so you know I'm always listening to different music when I'm in different moods um, but on the top of my head some songs I really like Willy Wonka um, who's that by? I don't know. I think it's like with Offset. It's like really, really good. I don't know. Just go check out my Spotify playlist called October. Those are like my current favorite songs. Why did you decide to move out from college dorms? So I think a lot of people are confused. At my school, at the University of Georgia, you're only required to live on campus, aka in a dorm your freshman year of high school freshman year of high school, your freshman year. So your first year is the only time you're required to live on campus. I'm glad I did it, it was fun, but it was definitely a one-time thing for me. After that, people either live in the sorority house, get houses, get apartments. Um, it's just like normal, like none of my friends are still living in a dorm. Will you marry me? Um, I'm just not ready, I'm just not ready. What's your favorite on the go snack? I'm really into bananas right now. Um, my friends get so annoyed with me when I take out my bananas because apparently they smell up the whole car But bananas are really good and they fill you up and they're perfect like right before a workout And I just don't feel super crappy about myself because they're not like unhealthy for you You know how can I be happy and positive all the time? You can't you simply cannot and um, I think this is like something that people like think about me like oh, she's always happy Like how does she do it? I get in bad moods like it's a very normal thing I'm probably in somewhat of a bad mood for you know a minute or two every day sometimes it's all day you know it happens um, but I think some ways to stay positive are surrounding yourself with good people music is a big factor in my life music can seriously take my mood from this to whew, I don't know what that was but like it seriously boosts my mood like no other um, I'm really into just playing music for my mood um, working out dancing you know facetiming a friend there's just so many ways to kind of stay positive and just overall is to kind of just like be thankful for things when I was in New York City last month with Delaney um, it was kind of really rainy but we had all these exciting things planned. We had so many awesome opportunities. We got to do so many cool things. And Delaney was FaceTiming her parents and we're literally on this like beautiful boat looking at the New York skyline. And I just remembered this story and it will just, I'll never forget it. She's FaceTiming her parents and she's like, yeah, we're having so much fun, but like, oh, it's raining. And like, you know, just, you know, saying whatever you would say to your parents. And they literally go, I feel this bad for you. <laughs> And ever since then, I have just remembered that. And so when I'm like having, you know, a rough morning or something happened to me that's like the littlest of an inconvenience, I just say to myself, Danielle, I feel this bad for you. Your life is so good. You have so many amazing people around you. Like, you're fine. So thank you, Delaney's parents, for that little bit of inspiration. I always talk about it. What classes are you taking this semester? Do you think about transferring? So last year, I had a little bit of a rough time my first semester. I I don't know. I just like you get I don't even want to look back and watch my videos from first semester freshman year It was just it was a transition time um, Lots of it was just like a lot and I wasn't used to my surroundings. I was I was in a big funk a lot of freshman year um, I wasn't loving it. I was 
concerned and it was just hard. But then spring happened at UGA and spring break happened and I got to really know um, a ton of girls in my sorority and I just kind of felt more comfortable on campus and everything and then I was like ah, I love it here I love being a dog and ever since then I felt amazing and I hope that's inspiration for you guys I know a lot of you guys are freshmen in college right now and let me tell you it gets better and I know everyone tells you that and I just literally want to write a book on this whole specific topic like I've always had a pretty good life everything's been pretty good I've always been really happy but freshman year of college was just a rough time for me and I hate that and I wanted to be like yeah I'm thriving like everything's amazing but it was hard. I didn't have amazing friends right away. I mean, my hallmates and I were so close, but I didn't really know a lot of other people other than that. And I was just, I didn't feel myself. And I think that was just me adjusting to a new environment. And that's very normal. And the more I talked to other girls, and one of the reasons Delaney and I became so close was because she was going through the same thing. And like, sorry, Delaney, I called you out. Um, but like, it's normal. And it's, I got to know so many more girls. And we were all just like, yeah, I wanted to hang out with you, but I was too scared to ask or whatever. So it, it I think the most important thing to remember is everyone's feeling the same way We're all just dealing with it differently and we all show it differently So I thought I was the only one feeling this way turns out I wasn't the only one and I'm not crazy and now life's great I love my sorority. I love UGA I can't wait to graduate from here as a senior and just walk under that arch because it's like a superstition if you walk under the arch before you graduate, you, well, won't graduate. I think that's it. I'm really excited. I'm really thankful to be here and show you guys along my little adventure. So that was a tangent. Um, this video's really long. The other question, the first question was, how are your classes? What are you taking this semester? So this semester, I have women's studies, anthropology, human geography, and statistics. I can tell you what my least favorite class is. Statistics. Oh. <gasps> I literally hate this class so much and like I am barely passing I'm being so honest like I can study as hard as I want and just still not do well and it's so frustrating because I literally took AP stat in high school like that's pr I probably shouldn't be saying this it's kind of really oof. it's kind of really embarrassing but I just don't care like math is just not my thing and there's certain subjects that I'm just not gonna do well on you know so as long as I pass it it'll be okay um, but my favorite class would have to be women's studies it's my only class that's like, I think it's like 30 people. All my other classes are lecture classes right now. So I love that class for that. It's really great. Um, and we talk about real world stuff. Like, there's just things I just didn't even think about when it comes to feminism and it comes to women's rights. And we just talk about a lot of stuff in the news right now, which is really helpful for me. What's your favorite podcast to listen to right now? <laughs> Gals on the go. No, I'm kidding. Gals on the go is amazing, but that's my own. Um, my favorite podcast right now has definitely got to be The Morning Toast. They um, post a new podcast episode Monday through Friday, every Monday through Friday. It's absolutely amazing. They tell you every day the fast five stories that you need to know before you take a bite out of your morning toast. I know I have it memorized. It's really sad. They are hilarious together. They are so entertaining, and I don't really watch the news, so this is kind of what keeps me in the know about everything. They do like a business news one. They do like a comedy one. They'll do like pop culture. It's great. It's really convenient for a gal on the go like myself. I also love my girl Kenzie Elizabeth podcast. My friends Remy and Alicia just came out of the podcast. Pretty basic, so that's really exciting. I've been loving listening to that. Um, I just started listening to Girls Gotta Eat podcast, Thick and Thin by Katie Bellotti. We met at Acme. I mean, I just, I love podcasts. How do you manage to be so productive when you feel tired and lazy? Um, coffee. <laughs> I just really can't lie. Will you be doing an October favorites video? I loved the September one. Yes, I am so happy with the response I got for my September favorites video, because I love favorites videos, and I know they're very like OG, but um, yeah, I already have a list going of things I want to talk about my October favorites, so get ready. What is your favorite memory of high school? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get my feels. I literally loved high school. Like, I miss high school, and I'm not saying that like, oh, I wanna be back in high school. I'm not saying that, but I do miss it. I missed, I had amazing friends. Like, I have amazing friends now, but like there's something, there's a difference between high school friends and college friends. Like, it's just a different type. They're both equal, but it's just like a different type. Um, like, your high school friends know your whole family, whereas your college friends you're with way more, but they don't know as much about like your outside life. So it's just like, it's two different things, and it's really cool. Literally senior year, I was the president of two clubs. I was a tour guide. I did like Jolly Rogers, which was our spirit club. I did theater. I loved it. I was rocking it. I felt like a girl boss. And now that I've gotten to college, my YouTube and everything has become so much more prominent in my life. So I kind of like do school. I do my sorority stuff and then I do YouTube. Whereas I really do miss in high school. I was really involved. So I'm kind of like trying to get more involved. Like next year, I'm going to be in charge of all the videography for our philanthropy and recruitment videos and all that fun stuff in my sorority just because I miss just like being in charge of stuff, you know? So. 
but yeah and I also miss Friday Night Lights high school football I was the football manager as well one of them there was like four or five of us and I basically was just the water girl and I gave the boys like new towels and stuff but I loved it do you ever plan on getting a dog my mom says I can't get a dog because that's cheating on my dog at home so and I just Let's be real, I do not have time to have a dog, oh my god. What do you think about jeweling? <laughs> so, if you guys don't know what jeweling is or what a jewel is, you can look that up yourself, whatever. Um, basically, they're kind I don't, I don't, I don't jewel. So that's the short answer, I don't jewel, I don't like it. I have tried it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's legal for me to try it, you have to be 18, I'm pretty sure. But it has nicotine in it and it's like a vape thing. My mom always talk, talks about it like it's like a USB thing. I Flash drive, I don't really know. For me personally, I, you know, I don't I don't like jeweling. I have lots of friends that use jewels or hit the jewel. Or, I literally sound like a mom, oh my god. I don't judge, I seriously don't. I literally tried it and I just, <clears throat> I coughed and I just didn't like how it was and I didn't like how I felt. Um, so, I mean, who knows? Maybe if I hit it and I was like, oh, this is cool, like maybe I would've like done it more. So I'm not like judging, because I know probably a lot of you guys have jewels. They're not good for you though. Like they are not like I've seen articles. I've done research My dad has sent me countless of articles and I'm like dad don't worry I literally don't jewel and I just I have no attraction to them I just think they're very equivalent to smoking cigarettes and that's it's crazy to me how, like smoking cigarettes are like not cool But like jeweling is like I've just seen so many people start jeweling just because it was like socially acceptable And like that's what everyone did when you went out and now they're like addicted and like they literally need to like hit the jewel in the library I'm not like I'm not judging, I'm not like trying to be mean, I'm just, it's scary to me and I just don't like it, but like that's just me, that's just me. Are you going to grad school? So, no. <laughs> I love college and I'm so excited to be here for four years, but I don't think I'm gonna go to grad school unless all of a sudden I have this new passion for something that requires going to grad school. I don't think that's gonna happen. I really just wanna like graduate from UGA and like move to New York City. That's kind of like the goal. Are you voting? And someone else asks, have you ordered your absentee ballot? Lots of voting questions. So I was very just kind of like hesitant to order an absentee ballot because I'm from Florida and I'm in Georgia obviously so I like can't vote here. Um, and my mom was kept bugging me about it and I was just like I don't even know who to vote for whatever and then my professor in my women's studies class was like made this whole speech basically and was like please vote guys like seriously like your generation is like what's going to be the future. So like all the older people who are voting right now are basically predicting your future and I was like that is so darn true I need to vote. So I requested my absentee ballot and I'm sending it in tomorrow. All right I just can't even do any more questions. My throat is so dry <laughs> This video is definitely really long, but I just wish I could sit here and answer a ton of questions I think I'm gonna go on Instagram live after this actually no no no, no. I need to study for my human geography test I got this. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video I really enjoyed it. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know also just comment down below video requests I'm always wanting to know what you guys Guys want to see. I love you guys. Check out Function of Beauty. I'll have them linked down below. Get 20% off with the link. I'm using my hands a lot today. That's the Italian in me. I love you guys so much. I've definitely said this three times and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>